less than two weeks ago, we saw not one, not two, not three, but four British players being crowned US Open champions. We will hear from our four Grand Slam champions and share with you their memories, their life stories, and their hopes for what their success can do to spread the message that tennis is a sport for everyone, for each and every one of you. Please welcome to the stage the US Open Women's Singles Champion, Emma Raducanu. Now, Radzi, who have you got with you with questions to ask? Why did you choose tennis over other sports? Oh, good questions, Emma. I played many sports when I was younger, and I still think that it helped me in my tennis because it gave me coordination, it gave me balance. Um, and when I was younger playing tennis, I was the only girl in playing a lot of other boys and I think that it actually gave me a lot of confidence and now in, in those situations I feel a lot more comfortable. Thank you, Ranty. Thank you for your questions as well. Now, I think we should get on to introducing another guest here on stage, a four-time major winner who also created his own piece of history at the US Open, Joe Salisbury! Joe, we've got a brilliant question for you when you're playing doubles and it's from Kai. What's your question, Kai? Is it easier to play as a male or a female and why? <laughs> good question. There you go, Joe. <laughs> that is a good one. It's a tough question to answer. I really enjoy playing both. And I think that's the great thing about tennis is that you can, can do either. You can play with a boy or a girl of different ages, different genders. Um, so that's what makes it great. So you can maybe do what you prefer. If you prefer playing the men's or the women's doubles, you can do that. If you prefer playing the mixed doubles, you can, you can also do that. So, so for me, I, I enjoy both. Excellent question. Thank you. Uh, now it is time to welcome our next champions onto the stage. Let us hear it for the US Open wheelchair men's doubles champions, Alfie Hewitt and Gordon Reed. So we've got an audience of future champions here and indeed watching um, and they want to know if you're young and you're starting out in tennis what's the best way to go about it at the beginning um, well I had no, no idea about wheelchair tennis I didn't know that it that it existed and it was actually my parents that brought me along um, and exposed the sport to me so these days there, there are a lot of resources whether it's online or you know the the, the platform that, that we guys have to, to showcase our sport, or if it's tennis, um, to, to, to try and find the local centre, really. The LTA have fantastic resources, and online, Gordon, I know there are ways in which people can find out more. I'll give you details right at the end of this. But what would your best piece of advice be? I think just go and have some fun, take, take some friends and uh, enjoy yourselves. You know, anywhere can be a tennis court. You know, I've played, played at home. I used to hit a ball against the wall in my back garden and you can play with balloons, you can play with any sorts of balls. So, um, you know, just, just get started to get involved and hopefully you catch the bug and then it kind of all goes from there. But I think it's really important to have other people around you that you enjoy playing with. Thank you to our terrific champions. Just to say, if you want to get involved in tennis, if you started, want to take the next step, if you've never played and you want to, go to the website, lta.org.uk forward slash play your way. You'll see that on screen as well. We have four US champions here who all want to inspire the next generation to follow in their footsteps. So a massive thank you to our superstars. Let's hear it for Gordon Reed, for Alfie Hewitt, for Joe Salisbury and Emma Raducanu. You guys.